How's it going guys? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I'm going to be showing you some birds that I found around our place. It's um, spring now, so there's a lot of birds around. As you can see, that's a tui there. National, a famous New Zealand bird. We love them, I love them. They're just great. And um, they like to eat the corfi. See, that's a corfi, that yellow flower. See how it's the nectar? Great. Lots of, so many tuis around. I probably saw 20 at least, just in that little area. Bit tricky to film them, it was a windy day. Um, you guys suggested that I should commentate these videos, so this is the way I thought I might do them. There we are, that's our bellbird there. Uh, mako Mako in Māori, and that also feeds, feeds on the kōwhai flowers. So you can see it's just doing that there. Looking like it's having a great time. They make an amazing noise, just as their name suggests, bell bird. Really nice, and there are a lot of them around as well, native to New Zealand. So, yeah. So then I went out into the estuary, lots of birds in the estuary, so heaps of seabirds. Um, had to creep, a little, creep around a little bit because I didn't want them to see me. Um, there's one there. So that's a paradise shell duck, that's a female. Um, got a quite a loud call, and its Māori name is Putakitaki. It's a lovely, lovely bird. They do have quite a loud call. Some people don't like them very much, but yeah, they're good in the estuary. And what they're actually doing is they are trying to get me away from their babies. That's me crossing the river in my leaky gum boots. The black bat gull, Kaduru. So the black bat gull is it's kind of like a seagull. It's, it's got a, that black color coloring on its back. It took me a little while to get there, but here's me walking. Speed it up a bit so I don't bore you guys. So now this is the next day. It's a bit. It's a high tide now, so I can't get across that way. Unless I want to swim. I don't because the water's still pretty cold. And I spotted some um, royal spoonbills across there. So the royal spoonbills have a beak shaped like a spoon. It's really weird. But they are quite cool. They are from Australia originally. And over here are some... Oh, I've scared them now. Oh, they're taking off. They're taking off. Oh, those are spurwing plovers. That, those, those little ones with the white on their stomachs. Um, I don't know how much to talk about them. They've got those little white beaks, and then over here is the mantelite ducks. That one on the left is a male, and then it's a female. And people shoot them in the duck shooting season. Quite good to eat, but they're quite cool birds around. How frightened the spurring plovers as well. Now that's a gull. I th could be a black bat gull, just a seagull. I don't know. But it's having a great time flying around. It's a bit of a cold, windy day, so. Pretty awesome. There we are. Just I liked that shot, so I thought I'd just show you guys that again. It's pretty cool. Took me a little while to make this um, video, uh, so if you really liked it, please hit that subscribe button below. Um, that'd be much appreciated. Uh, we'll just look at this little bird, this bird for a while and um, check. Wait for my next video, because I'm just about to go on holiday down the South Island, and I'll be showing you some cool as pictures and videos of my, hopefully we're going to go skiing, Queenstown, the luge, bushwalks, and I'll do a few episodes on that once I get back. So, I hope to see you soon, and from me, sweet as.